All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're gonna be talking about MySQL queries. So in the Nest.js type ORM repositories, in the previous video, we talk about like uh, repositories, query builders and all. So those are the kind of inbuilt come with the type ORM query builder. So you can just write the eloquent and then you can get the data out from the database. But let's suppose you have to make some queries which doesn't exist into the type ORM repository or the kind of query, you can't make it, you can't make it happen. So what you're gonna do so you have to write a SQL queries, the raw queries, and then you have to get data, find data according to that. Okay, how are we gonna do that? So it's kind of very easy thing to do. Like you just need to do uh, type ORM repository dot uh, query, and then you have to pass your query into that. So it will get you the data out. But we're gonna talk about raw queries, how to do, how to write the queries into the MySQL, and what is the meaning of each and every keyword into the query. So we're gonna be looking into that, and then we're gonna be finding the data about it. So we created one table earlier before uh, in the uh, previous video so we're gonna be creating one more table we're gonna be inserting some data but we're gonna be doing with SQL okay we're gonna be doing it by SQL queries directly in the workbench because it's gonna be time consuming so that's you can try it later because I have already shown you about this users and an entity you can create the entity like this and then you can put the validation into this it comes with multiple over here multiple decorators that you can use and put the validations but that's how you create the entity and then after that you okay, you have to do the CRUD operations like this which I shown you in the previous videos okay so we are gonna do same kind of things over here so we are gonna be dealing with this kind of queries okay so this is the very common query in each and every table whenever by default you come just click on this this is my MySQL workbench over here and this is the database with schema which we created in the previous video when we were doing the configuration and all for the database and this is the one table which we migrate it into this database okay so this is the users table and this is some of your rows which we inserted from that this is the value called query which come if you click operate it so you will get all the data let's suppose I have to find the data only by this ID so what I will do over here like where ID equals to three okay just this and then I will find that row only okay you see over here and let's suppose just remove it for a while Okay. and if you go over here like this so let's suppose your date is like this okay you see like this and if I try to find this date this is the very important thing if I try to find this date data with this date where uh, uh, created at equals to like this okay so it doesn't gonna work see I'm not able to find the data why because the string there's a UTC string is also attached to it with include times milliseconds seconds and all but you're not able to find the date with this so what you will have to do we have to include a function over here like this so this function will only check the dates not with the, not the time okay so when you include it so you saw you will cut you got the data over here let you see third month and the third of the date in 2024 so we created this on the March 3rd okay so this is how the data is coming now what we have to do we have to group by the data so what is the meaning of group by okay so group by is that let's suppose you have a common data a common name or something like that something like let's suppose these names are common so what it will do it will group by the rows with that name and then show you the count or whatever the data you want to pull out from there okay so let's suppose if I want to group by but this star query doesn't gonna work over there because you have to uh, use only the group by methods which comes okay by default group by name okay now if I try to uh, execute this query it will throw me there and see the expression uh, select of the list group by clause contain non aggregated column if you see now your test.user.id so it doesn't work with that group what group by and what if I do over here if I try to check count because it will provide me it is grouping the all the data so the number you can't the IDs you can't separate it okay so what you have to do you have to put the ID also over here then you can find the ID okay so let's suppose if I do cut a star as count so let me tell you this as works as alias so let's suppose by default you will get this column name so if you want to change the column name into your return so you can just put the alias like this and then just include it it will work yeah so here it is so you see I got the four counts okay and if I do by ID okay and then I want to pull the ID so I will get it 
okay because i am grouping my okay sorry place is wrong so i will put the id over here and select query and see now i got the id so it's grouped by id now not by name first is grouping by name and then secondly it's grouping by id so it's when it's grouping by id so it's getting separated okay because all the ids are different to each other it's indexed okay so that's why the id is coming by id okay next thing if i want to group by age as well so age and try to pull the age over here so let's see what we got so you we got the age as well so that's how this group by method works so the group by data if you want to pull multi if you want to pull all the data by similar name or similar id or something so you can just group by and check the count number of count and then number of values exist into that so you can just check how many rows with the same column or same id or something like that so the same you can do by group by created ad as well so if i do group by created ad so you can do like this so it's showing group by class by ten non -age. so we don't have to use this age and id because it doesn't come with that okay so we can't use the single individual entity but you see it's group by is working with created it because all the dates are different but because utc time string is included with that okay but if i pass this in function like this same like this so you see i got the count for because now this date is similar in each and every row okay so let's make a change back to so let's start from test dot users okay now so we got we got all the column we got all the rows over here so now what we have to do um we have to insert another row inside this table so how are we going to do that so insert into Okay, insert into test dot users okay and then after that you have to pass the values like id uuid so id gonna be created by default so you have to pass uuid comma name so name comma age comma just these three columns okay and uh, values just pass values and inside the values you pass it like this values like pass id uuid gonna be something you can pass like this okay name you can pass like this name you can last abhi i'm passing my name abhi and then age i can pass 25 okay so it should be number as well but if i execute this query so created ad doesn't have value so i need to pass the created ad as well so let's just pass 2024 0 4 and today is 14 okay so now 14 just pass like this same for updated ad as well yes okay? so because it's not multi column by default one column okay so we can't do that just pass it like this let's see uh, column count doesn't match value count at row one column count okay oh sorry we have to pass the keys as well created at over here comma updated at like this and then try it so deleted at doesn't have value okay deleted at also has to be none so we can pass or deleted at null over here so you can just pass null like this okay now I tried cannot be null it's saying cannot be null so just pass empty oh okay so deleted at should be value but it shouldn't be value uh, so it has to be null type so this row has been added okay so this row has been added let me check the entity what is the entity over here so okay so it has to be null type as well so by default we could do null true like nullable true so it would be nullable it would have clicked now it's not nullable type so we can check all the type over here so like when you click on this so you can check all the type what type of column it is so not null is not true over here so that's why it's not working so um let's move it so this query has been added now so if i try to add multiple times so it will work so i'm adding multiple times so it has been added now let's 
click on users you see how many rows has been added over here multiple rows but the same uuid because uuid is not differ over here i had to make it unique over here so it's not unique here so that's the problem but indexing is done okay so make sure when you create the uuid also should be unique okay but no problem with that so this is the uuid and th this is all the data over here now let's suppose we have to do order by we have to use the order by so what is the order by order by like you see order so you see this is ascending and descending order that you do sorting so this for the sorting we use the order by okay over here so let's suppose i want to do order by name order by name so if i do like this so it's order by name now you see my a b h i is coming first and if i do or if i do a s c so see a s c now i d to d e s c so the z will come first like it will reverse the order so the order by is working like DSC, so it will dis it will show you in the descending order, and when you do ASC, so it will show you in ascending order. Okay, so order by works like this. Okay, so whereas, so let's see some more things in the whereas. So the where uh, where um uh, let's suppose you want to find with multiple uh, columns. Okay, so let's suppose you want to find by name. So name should name should be like start with which contains the value so if you want to check the contain value inside the name so you can just try with like this so this will check the values inside it so let's suppose if i try er and then it will check this keyword exists like this character exists or what exists inside the name or not okay and then if you want to include some more specification into the where query so you have to pass like end and it should match this as well so let's suppose i want to match edge like five so the way the edge would age would be five just get me that detail okay so if i do it so you see i found it okay if i remove the i from here okay and then query so you see i got the four columns because all these four column names consist this er okay let's suppose i want to find it by date as well. and date created at equals to uh, this okay this okay so let's suppose this so you see i got other details as well with the same date okay so say it's the same date so after that if you want you would be wondering like uh, if in same query i want to use the group by and all the things so yeah you can use it like this so you can use group by name over here and then you have to remove this star like you have to use name only okay so you can use name so you see you got the name over here okay group by and also you can use the order by as well so order by and all the things you can use over here the same price okay so that's that's how it works order by dsc still it will work order by name okay then it will work the query will work same as it is okay so that's how you can do it so this is uh, uh let me just remove it for a while because because if we remove the where so we will see the otherwise one more point okay so you see two names we got if i do asc so you see it's working fine okay so this is the query works group by order by and then if you want to do offset or limit so you this is mostly getting used for the pagination thing okay so let's suppose if i do select star from test users so i got all the data now i will do limit equals to 10 and the offset equals to zero okay now let's check it limit 10 offset zero let's check okay so it's it's getting me zero ten, 10 number of rows in the zero number of page okay if i do it on so it's skipping one row only so offset will skip the row okay number of rows it will skip and then limit will take only the 10 date 10 row number of rows after this skip okay so let's suppose if i want to skip 10 so i will skip 10 so it is taking three rows and total number of rows we have so let's suppose if i remove it 
So I'll remove it. Okay, total number of rows we have. So this is we have this much rows. It's around 12, I think. Okay, so 12, 12 rows. Okay, and if we want to skip. If we are skipping this is the skip so offset gonna be cut your 10 rows from that and limit will be your number of ton 10 number of rows you want to ex extract from the database okay so this is how you have to execute so this this part is your skip number of rows you have to skip this part is number of data you have to extract okay so this is how we do how we find the data into our database okay and if you have to get all the data same so let's suppose you are doing find by query so something so whether you can use this one like this or you can make another query like this this dot user repository dot query like this and then inside that you can write your select star from test dot user where id equals to five like this and then return like this simple just just do like this and it will get to, it will be working simple and it will be working so query is gives you the ability to extract the data i hope you guys have understood something from this video so we have some more details and discussion left into this mysql query so we're going to be looking into the next videos so not taking to switch you uh, this video much longer so let's meet into the next video and we're going to look into those nested queries and the multiple lines of queries writing to extract the data okay so we're going to be looking into this and we're going to be talking about the update and delete as well so thank you so much guys thank you for watching this video and please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel and i'll be till the next video take care please bye, -bye.